I'm Lois Sanstegard, and I'm a citizen here in Minnesota, and I'm with uh, Judge Deborah Hedlund. And I have a question for Judge Debbie Hedlund, and that is, why should I care about who is judge of the Minnesota Supreme Court? Well, you should care because uh, people who have that job that don't have experience with the trial court or with the criminal law or various aspects that they have to review costs you, the citizen, money. Let me give you a quick example of just a concrete case where we had a Supreme Court justice who was a very wonderful lady but had never had any trial court experience, had never seen a criminal case as a trial lawyer, and murder one cases are appealed directly to the Supreme Court. Always. Always. Wow. And so she got this case and really didn't know what to do with it. And in reviewing it, she thought, well, maybe uh, the defendant had some rights I didn't know about. So just in case, I'll send it back to the trial court to be retried. In this particular case, um, there were witnesses that had to be held in witness protection program for an additional period of time, costing the citizens of Minnesota tens of thousands of dollars, somewhere in excess of $350,000. Now that's something you should care about because those are your tax dollars at work. So having a judge in the Supreme Court that has trial court experience and is familiar with murder one cases and the other cases that they review saves you money. One, they're more efficient. Two, the cases get decided correctly and don't have to be done twice. And three, you get a bargain if you elect me because I have 28 years of experience and I don't think there's anyone else up there that has spent that much time in the trial court. In fact, four months is the most that any justice there now has had in the trial court. So that's the experience I would bring to add to the book knowledge and the very bright people that are there already. Well, it's incredible that um, knowledge alone it isn't adequate, but your experience is also so critical. Thanks so much, Debbie, for answering that question. Thanks for asking.